chest to bar holds. So that's where you literally you pop up. So even if you can't do a pull up, you get up on a step, you jump up and you pull up until your chest is touching the bar. Now we start you hold that position. You hold that position and you're actively pulling the bar into your chest and you're just you're not moving. You're just holding that position. Now we start with like three sets of ten and we, we gradually build it out to be like extended sets. Like the goal is to be able to do five sets of thirty seconds. That's fucking hard. I'll be honest, like I don't know if I could do five sets of 30 right now. Maybe two or three, to be honest, because I have not been practicing it. And it's a very intense feeling. So if you're looking at squeeze on guillotine or squeeze on a rear naked choke, that's actually really perfect. Yeah. That real tight flexion. But this does an amazing thing to develop your forearms, your biceps, your upper back in that chest to bar position. But what is even bloody harder, in my opinion, is the 90 degree flexed hang, which is also part of the program, but that's, that's really hard to control. I find that very hard in the core because it's that midpoint in the pull-up. And it's super, working super they hard. they got to kick in, you know, and, and, and I actually find, because you haven't got the sensory feedback of the bar, like, am I, am I, am I, uh, 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 it's kind of hard to stay there. And then once you've kind of, kind of fatigued yourself from these very, very, variable levels of hold just doing hanging at the end of your workout is a fantastic way to work your grip work your shoulder and and also work your core absolute we should um for a bit of context and to give a shout out to queen ray ray oh yeah yeah you know so this is a girl that's been training with us and and if you're in our community group you see the, her there she's kind of like the boss lady of the community group answers a lot of always helpful queries and whatnot always helpful um yeah she really is but she recently, last week, she hit five chin-ups. Mm. Now, the thing is, and we posted about it on the group and on Instagram and stuff. The thing is that, like, she's worked at that for, like, over two years. Probably yeah. closer to three years. We started on that during COVID. Wow. And that's the reality. To go from no chin-ups or no pull-ups to five, it takes a long time. And it takes, like, you got to be working on it every week. Yep. And, you know, she pretty much, like, there's probably, like, a handful of weeks that she took off because she was traveling or sick or working something. or whatever it is but yeah, yeah she's been hyper consistent with it and often working on it twice a week yeah now you know we spoke about some of the benefits before but i'm going to say that on a on a on a kind of spiritual level for folks there's something extremely liberating about going from a place of not being able to pull your own body weight up to being able to do it yeah it's this fundamental unlock of like athletic capacity, capacity. Like, oh my god i could not and now I can. And you think about it like in a practical sense, like practical sense is you're running away from a fucking, uh, I don't know, attacker. A, a giant bear or an attacker <laughs> and you jump up to a branch and you have to try and get up. And th this is actually like part of your answer, like to get up there versus, holy shit, I just got to hang here until I fatigue and then fall down and die. Yeah. Like, you know, you can now actually move up the tree or climb the wall to get into the festival, whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> you know, Running away from security <laughs> yeah. from the festival. <laughs> Which a note on that, Pull-ups are what's going to save you, right? Because yes, if right. you're trying to climb a fence, you can't chin up. Yeah. You can't go on it. You our can only go overhead. Our new festival season program coming out this summer. <laughs> <laughs>